Hey guys, welcome to video 2. Video 1 was a little boring because we were just going through parts and pieces. We didn't actually do any fun stuff. Just getting to grips with what everything does. So today, we're going to do some fun stuff. and Blast off into the um, unknown. Today's mission, we just want to get into an orbit around the planet. I'll show you the... Um, the systems like the Kerbin system, our planet system and the solar system we're in. First we just want to build a simple rocket that will get us into orbit. Um, we'll go for a, a one man because this is our Kerbins. Let's see the uh, scientists, the workers and the cheerleaders. Look at them cheering. I know they're not cheerleaders but they look like cheerleaders, look at them. So yeah, we'll just build a simple rocket. One single man, first mission. We're not sure if we're going to blow up or even make it. There's only one man for the job. If you don't know the game, you get little astronauts come up. You can um, EVA, like uh, get out of the um, capsule and stuff in space or anywhere, basically. Yeah, you get the little um, icons come up bottom right. It shows their expressions, if they're happy, sad, scared and stuff. Jebediah is crazy. That's all you need to know right now. He's never scared. Even if you're, gonna, even if you're hurtling towards the ground at light speed, he'll be happy. It's the guy's nuts. Um, yeah, first things first. Always, well, parachute safety first plus we're gonna we're gonna go up into orbit and then come back down and land the capsule and bring Jebediah I think it should be Jebediah because it's the first mission he's usually the first astronaut he's the only man for the job um so let's carry on building see we should use SAS to stabilize us but I want to show the difference between SAS and no SAS. This just means I'm going to have to control this a lot on the way up, which is annoying. We want two, a two-stage rocket, basically. This is the last piece that we'll have. Oh, I need to have a decoupler. Sorry. Oh, not the big one. We want the small one. Because we don't want this to come down with us. When we land, we just want the capsule. So that will separate them. And the staging is down here. So yeah, we want the parachute last. That will decouple yeah. after you know we've used this. And now we want to add another decoupler. and an adapter because we want to go to the bigger fuel tanks we don't need any power supply on this I don't think it's been a while since I've used stock parts you know I've down I downloaded like a few mods like rocket packs and stuff and there's a one that I use all the time called said pinch fusion which I'll obviously uh, integrate into this shortly. Okay, less is more by the way. When you're building a rocket, you don't want to overdo it. Like the more of, the more fuel tanks and engines used, you just got to remember that they have mass. So the heavier your rocket, you know, the harder it'll be to um, break through the atmosphere and stuff. Um, if you hold shift and scroll backwards on your mouse wheel, it zooms out. So yeah, just an example, like, oh yeah, and probably wondering why I didn't use this one, but if you put this engine on this tank, it's just two of these. Um, the engine overheats, but if you use these, it doesn't overheat, so it's kind of a, a little tip there. I know this looks ugly, doesn't it? That's why... I, the mod parts that you download, they're nice. 
really nicely um, modelled and textured. So yeah, this should be in theory enough. Like I said, I haven't used stock parts for ages though, so... In a way, I kind of want it to fail a little, because I want to show you how to use the couplers. And, you know, I could do this, but I don't want to do all this yet, because we don't need to do this. I don't know why I'm building this now. Yeah, we could... It's too much. There's smaller ones. Yeah, there. Stick. So we could have that, and then when when these have burned out, we can chuck them off by pressing the spacebar. See that? That would decouple them. And there's these little things called separatrons. They're like little um, solid boosters that will. If you angle them, like, kind of like that, put one at the bottom, one at the top, on both sides, then when you press it, they'll shoot off when you decouple and blast the rocket over and away from the main thing so it doesn't break. But we don't, shouldn't need to do that yet. So this should be enough. Like I said, less is more, like the more parts you add, yeah, the worse it can be, especially on lag. We shouldn't lag at all, though, really, with so few parts. Anyway, let's go and just get this. I'll call it Orbital 1. Save. Yeah, don't forget to, um, even like each time you've kind of gone f added a few parts, just click the save because you never know what can happen. So yeah, we'll go ahead and launch now. Yeah, it's the first time we've launched, so it takes a little time. It shouldn't take that long in the future. Alright, first thing I want to say is this. This uh, structure gets in the way when you build wide or big rockets I've got a mod that um, removes it and I highly recommend it you know it doesn't slow the game down at all and it just helps because it's, it's annoying when you build a rocket you launch it and it hits this yellow part or knocks into the side because it just blows up so I'll recommend that and we'll use that next I'll tell you how to install it, it's so easy just drag and drop files to install mods, simple, into folders. Okay, so if you press M, oh, sorry, this is the nav ball down the bottom. Um, it's your main instrument. You see this thing flying around, I don't know what it's flying around for. It's because we're wobbling around on the surface and we haven't launched it. There's two markers on there. One's prograde and one's retrograde. That's the names of them. The prograde means the direction of acceleration. So if you're pointing at the prograde, it means you're accelerating away from whatever surface or planet that you're um, currently under the sphere of influence. And retrograde means to decelerate. So, so if I was in orbit and I wanted to get back to a, a Kerbin surface, I would target the retrograde and then start my throttle up and it will take us out of orbit back down to the surface we'll go into that anyway when we're up if we get up hopefully this gets us into orbit it's wobbling a lot and I've got no SAS so this is going to be fun so if I press M it takes us to map view so that's our planet Kerbin this kind of looks like Africa and Europe a bit doesn't it but the rest doesn't look like anything so yeah, there's the sun. If you mouse wheel backwards and zoom out, this is the curving system. We've got two moons, the moon and Minmus. Minmus is a tiny, like icy kind of planet with frozen lakes. Uh, the moon's just like the moon. If you scroll out further, this is the solar system. 
of Kerbin, the sun in the middle, then you've got Moho, which obviously is just like Mercury, you've got Eve, which is like Venus, but Eve's actually got oceans on, which aren't frozen or they're not gassy, Eve's not a gassy planet, but it has high gravity, uh, Juno, which is like Mars, Drez, it's like a big asteroid, and then you've got Joule, which has five or four moons. Um, yeah, all these have got moons on as well. Well, not all of them. I don't think Moho's got a moon. I can zoom in and look. Yeah, Moho doesn't have a moon. Yeah, you see. You can go in and look at anything you want. I'll just show you Joule. Joule's a gas giant. It's Jupiter, basically. Yeah, see, look, that's got one, two, three, five. Oh, it's got five. Yeah, five moons. Alright, lace. It's just like Earth. Look. Not Earth, Kerbin. But it's 90% ocean. So it's kind of hard to land on there, on the land. Usually you plonk in the ocean until you get a bit better. Yeah, I've been there a few times. So yeah, that's the solar system. Elu, which is the newest planet, is on a really weird orbit. It's like an icy, scary place. Anyway, back to the mission. Okay. Um, we've got the nav ball on this view as well. Anyway, let's let's go. Let's get up. Okay, so shift and control controls the throttle here. So if I press control, it'll go down. Press. Uh, while you're in the lower atmosphere, you want to go between 150 and 200 meters per second, because otherwise you're wasting fuel. Once you get to the thinner bit of the atmosphere, you can full throttle again. But I'm going to try half throttle to see how our acceleration is. Yeah, we're gonna, we've got Jebediah. We have in view as well in the cockpit view. This cock um yeah this cockpit's a bit rubbish, it's got a tiny window and we're obviously looking at the sky so it just looks like nothing at the moment. So you press C to go back out. Okay so five, four, three, two, one. Yeah see this thing's really really light. But yeah, see the marker? That's the prograde marker. And because we're on the surface, we're, that's saying you know, the way to accelerate away from it. This is the prograde marker. And yeah, this is a compass as well, obviously. This is the north-south line. But we want to... Um, the equ equatorial... We want an equatorial orbit, so we want to turn 90 degrees, which is right, basically. You use W, A, S, and D to steer. I haven't got RCS or anything, so you, you can probably hear me tapping the buttons. I'm just trying to keep this in the middle. Basically, we want to go straight up till we get to about 10,000 meters. And then we want to start turning slightly and angling to the right. You can uh, mouse around and stuff. Yeah, this isn't actually too bad to steer at the moment. It's such a simple rocket, but we're running out of fuel fast. I've got a feeling we're not going to make it. And I don't need to be burning that much. So we throttle down. So we are so we're at eleven thousand we can start tilting. Just not too much yet. And you can see the uh, prograde marker starts to come and follow us down. So yeah, we'll go over a bit more. 
the 45 degree mark. So yeah, if I press M now, so you'll start seeing the arc on our apoapsis. Basically we run around 100 km, so 100,000 meters. Oh, going off course there. And we can start going down further now. Yeah, you see our speed picking up very fast as we're getting higher and higher out of the atmosphere. I think we've gone a bit shallow here, but... We may be okay. Coming up to 100,000 now. Okay, so X cuts the engines. So now we want to float around to here. And if you click here, you can add a manoeuvre. And then this is the prograde, that's the retrograde marker. If you drag this out, you'll see the line come. And then you'll get a periaps. So you have an apoaps and a periaps, which is the yeah. Yeah, when they flip around like that, that means you're in an orbit. Basically, you want it like left to right. So, see, 99,000 meters, 102,000. And that'll do. And you'll have a little, um, oh, I have no steering at all. I need to ditch that stage. So, yeah, we'll go in and ditch this big tank. So, yeah, it separates. And then... Press it again to engage this. Yeah, and now we can steer. Yeah, so now on the nav ball, where we set up this manoeuvre node, there'll be a little blue marker on here somewhere. So we need to find that marker. There it is. Yeah, and once we're on it, we're going to stick on it. You do have, yeah, you do have a little, little bit of SAS. Um, in the command pods, but it's very, very little. If you press the full stop or period key, you can speed up time. And you see the uh, estimated burn is 10 seconds. And our nodes in, hang on a sec actually, because we had the big, yeah, we need to start burning now. Yeah, sorry, that estimated burn was, um, with the uh, big engine. I forgot to decouple it first. Yeah, that big engine is going to fall back down on that line there, that white line. So it's going to plop into the ocean. But we don't want to plop into the ocean. But we're behind schedule, so our orbit's going to be a bit horrible. But as long as we get into orbit, then that's all that matters. So yeah, we want to stick on the... Uh, we don't need this. We just want to stick on this prograde marker. Yeah, you see that's going up. If I point toward down towards the um, planet, that should stop that going up. But it's gonna. Oh, sorry, I wasn't watching the nav ball. Okay, 80,000 is high enough. Basically, the um, atmosphere starts at 70,000. So as long as you're above 70,000, you're in an orbit. So yeah, that's bad. I can bring this down though. If I go, if I want to circularize this into a nice circle, we'll head to here. And I just hit the retrograde, which means it will decelerate and bring that down. See it drops down as soon as it flips there you go it started to flip so 81 80 and it's only three seconds so we go ahead to the blue marker yeah and if you press the time accelerator full stop key it will freeze your position and you can time warp 
all the way up. You don't ever want to go on the top marker unless you're going on a really long journey because you'll fly past. So yeah, you see the time time to mode going down. Also, the burn three seconds. So we actually want to start the burn at about two seconds because you want to equal either side. So if the burn said 10 seconds, you want to start burning around 6 seconds on the node time. So, because it would take about a second to um, fire up all the way, if you, if you know what I mean. So there we go. So 81, 77, 4 kilometers. How are we doing on fuel? Yeah, we've got plenty. So, we'll just uh, see Jebediah's happy, smiling away. See so if we time accelerate, we can just float around the planet a little. It does get a bit jittery when you time accelerate. Just get onto the sunny side, because we're in the dark. So we can see the, actually we'll see the sunrise. Okay, here she comes. Get a nice view of it. Isn't she lovely? Lovely sun. So yeah, let's just zip around a bit now. Okay, so we're nice and low. Alright, if I angle, there's our window. We can have a little look out the window. I oh, look perfectly facing down. So if we go in the cockpit by pressing C, there we go, we can see the uh, planet, and we can control it in here as well. So a nice little view there, and we can also EVA, which means get out, Let's see, we can let go, oh we have let go. Yeah, if you press R, we've got a jetpack. See? And we can simply, <laughs> simply crash. Well, we need to get back in. Houston, we have a problem. Not the best angle here. Oh, oh. Damn it. I don't know if I can grab it. This is a bad idea, guys. <laughs> Alright, this should be good. Yes. Alright, crabbed. And boards. F. Okay. And I've fallen around. Let's go back down. Yes, yeah, so now I don't even have to look at this. We just need to point at the retrograde. Zoom in a bit. So if I point here and start to burn and look, we we'll see our periapsis. I actually want to try and land. Let's just go straight shallow. As long as you're around, depending on how fast you're going. Say 30,000 kilometers would be a safe. Oh, wasn't even looking at the nav ball. Should try land in the crater. Which way sends us up? Not that way. So this way will send us upwards a bit more. Yeah. I think that'd be good. We'll get inside this crater. We're gonna plop in the ocean. 
Alright, we can ditch that now. And just float down. Let's do a bit of time acceleration. Oh yeah, if you've got a big ship, don't, when you're in the atmosphere, it's called, it's physics warping. You can only go four times, but it'll rip your ship apart. So don't use it if you've got a big ship. It's okay with just the capsule. Also, parachutes, sometimes they rip off. I only wanted this video to be about 10 minutes, but I think it's going to be a bit longer. The next videos will be shorter though, because we haven't got much to go through. So yeah, it gets a bit jittery. We'll um, deploy the parachute to start slowing us down. So you'll see our speed as the drag of the parachute slows us down it'll open I can't remember if it's 500 meters or higher Jebediah is happy I think we're actually going to land on there <laughs> yeah I'm not the best at the uh, mathematics of this our projected landing site was in here and we've landed in the desert there's actually an easter egg in the desert, there's uh, some pyramids somewhere but they're not here that would be cool though if I landed right on the pyramids yeah as we get closer the terrain will get more detailed So yeah guys, just remember the uh, markers on the nav ball. The one with the three spikes in like a Mercedes or peace sign kind of figuration is retrograde which slows down the orbits, de de accelerates, etc. And the other one with the horizontal bars is prograde. So I hope you uh, learnt something and enjoyed the video. It went on a bit longer than I expected. It's not so bad for you guys. It's, I've got to um, edit and encode and decompress or compress, sorry, without losing quality and things, which takes a while. So hope you like the video, hit like, subscribe, we'll start doing some more fun stuff. We'll go to the moon next, we'll build a lander to get to the moon. And I might introduce some, some mods maybe, although I think I should keep it standard for now. Yeah we'll go to the moon standard, standard part, standard, once we touch down. Jebediah needs a toilet and and we're down don't know why it's dropped frames there I've got like 35 and Jebediah is happy back on home been in space quick victory lap around the uh, capsule yay any jumps and falls you right mate ok guys so me and Jebediah are going to say goodbye now and hope you enjoyed it sorry I've said that already um, yeah see you next video